Hello everyone! Today we're going to read Winnie Under the Sea, written by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul, published by Oxford University Press. It was holiday time for Winnie the Witch and her big black cat, Wilbur. Here, Wilbur, asked Winnie. She searched the internet and found a little island with blue sea, golden sand and coconut trees. The bright blue sea was full of beautiful fish. Fish look lovely, Wilbur, she said. They look delicious, thought Wilbur. That's where we'll go, said Winnie. She packed her suitcase. Wilbur jumped onto her shoulder and they zoomed up into the sky. At last, there was the island did look lovely. They landed on the golden sand and found a comfortable hut. Winnie put on her flippers and her goggles and dived into the water. Wilbur climbed a coconut tree. That was fun. Then he had a sleep. That was peaceful. Winnie was having a lovely time. The sea was full of fish. There were dolphins, turtles and coral. It was so beautiful. Winnie wanted Wilbur to see it too. Wilbur! called Winnie. Come and see the fish. You love them. Wilbur wanted to see the fish. He put one paw in the water. Eh! Nasty! It was wet! Meow! cried Wilbur. He hated getting wet. Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. She waved her magic wand, shouted, He was a catfish. Wilbur, the catfish, dived into the waves and swam away. Winnie watched him through her goggles. He chased some tiny fish. Then he dived under a dogfish and played catch with a crayfish. Wilbur the catfish was having so much fun. Winnie wanted to be a fish as well. But she couldn't be a fish. She had to hold on to her magic wand. What could she be? Of course! Winnie waved her wand and shouted, Abracadabra! And she was an octopus. An octopus with orange and yellow legs holding a magic wand. It was fun being an octopus. Winnie the octopus waved her eight legs and floated through the seaweed, around the coral, over the rocks. Wilbur, the catfish, darted around her. Thousands of fish swam with them. Tiny fish, big fish, and suddenly a sea lion. The sea lion flipped its tail 
and Winnie lost her wand. She grabbed at it but missed it. A swordfish tried to spear it for her but missed. A jellyfish nearly caught it but missed. Down, down it sank into the wreck of an old sailing ship and disappeared. Glittering broomsticks, wailed Winnie. But it sounded like bubble, 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 bubble. Oh, 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 cried Wilbur. They didn't want to stay under the sea forever. Where was the magic wand? Stuck in the anchor? No. Under the ropes? No. Behind the big crab? No. In the treasure chest? Yes! Wilbur flipped it out. Winnie grabbed it, waved it five times, shouted, Abacadabra! And a witch and a cat floated back to the shore. That was exciting, Wilbur, Winnie said. Too exciting. We won't do that again. But it is beautiful under the sea. Then Winnie had another wonderful idea. A little yellow boat was bobbing on the waves. Winnie waved her magic wand and shouted, Abracadabra! And the bobbing on the waves was a yellow submarine. Winnie and Wilbur went on board. The fish swam up to the window and looked in. It is lovely under the sea, isn't it, Wilbur? said Winnie. Mm, it's lovely and dry in here, Wilbur thought. Purr, 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 he said. And that's the end of story time. Remember to subscribe today to English Lessons Online. Goodbye and thanks for watching.